Hey everybody, it's Mike Pingle. Welcome to the Mike Pingle Show. That's it. It's today's Thursday. And I'm here alone. Me, myself, and I. Very sad. Let's ask Mr. Glee Eightball what, what's going on. Totally. Yeah. Mr. Glee Eightball. Do you remember Glee, the TV show? What a fun show that was. But this is my eight ball. And he would say things like, Do you think people are gonna be watching today? Yes, no problem. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Um, anyway, today I'm going to be talking about some fun things that are happening in Los Angeles. Um, honestly, because I do the out and about on WeHo Times, and people ask me all the time what's going on in Los Angeles and what can I do. Uh, I was at Disney uh, this weekend, actually this week, actually on Tuesday, which it felt like a weekend because it was packed with people all over the place. So it's like, this is a Tuesday. Why are all these people here? Um, and why is there a five hour line to, you know, Space Mountain? Um, by the way, Disney is packed and it's beautiful. It is Halloween there. So if you want to get your Halloween on, Disney's doing it right now. Uh, it started, uh, the Haunted Mansion is all decked out at, with Nightmare Before Christmas, of course. It's a true tradition here in Los Angeles to go see that every Halloween. Flash Christmas, um, but yeah, it's it's really fun, and all the characters are decked out in their Halloween outfits. So I did that yesterday, and when I was standing in line for the five-hour line for the popcorn in Disneyland, these uh, this couple from San Francisco was like, "What do we do? What do we do out and about, you know, in town?" And I'm like, "How do you know that I do out and about with uh, uh, We Know Times?" And um, they're like, "Because you're famous." I'm like, "I'm not famous." Anyway, they didn't say that. Um, so I didn't really have any responses. So I dug deep today to let you know of some fun things if you're in Los Angeles and what the, what's going on here. I mean, there's always a fun thing to do and my schedule is always packed with things. I'm going to see a show tonight with my friend Danny. Hi, Danny. Um, so yeah, there's always something to do. Uh, tomorrow, which is, um, which is Friday, uh, the Beauty Collection tomorrow is gonna have a fundraiser for the Life Group LA. I work with the Life Group LA. I'm their publicist, so I'm pitching them. Uh, from four to seven, they're doing a fundraiser for Life Group, and basically 10% of all sales goes to the Life Group LA, which helps people with HIV and, and AIDS uh, who are affected and infected with it. Uh, that means family members, people who have it, um, anyone who is affected by the disease. Uh, they give tools to help people through and help you know live a better life. Uh, it's a great cause, uh, but also you know, that that beside itself, that 10% goes to Life Group LA, that day you get to be pampered for free. There are going to be people giving out free samples. I go all the time and I get things for my girlfriends and my boyfriends and everybody who, who wants stuff because I'm flawless and I never use that stuff. <laughs> so uh, I give it to all my friends, but there are probably 50, not maybe like 25 different places with high end Skincare, moisturizers, uh, you know, doing th giving things free away. There's a gift bag for anybody who buys something, which has a ton of stuff in it. And also, uh, there's free pampering. So uh, go online, go to the Beauty Collection. It's in the West Hollywood. It's by Pavilions in West Hollywood. Um, sign up if there's something specific that you want for the pampering because they they do fill up on the free pampering for the day. But uh, if not, you can come get your makeup done, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So that is one thing you can do tomorrow. So make a date. Of course, also tomorrow is out at the park, uh, which is the basically the gay pride of Six Flags here in Los Angeles. Uh, that's going to be happening at 6 to 1 a.m., 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, DJ Rhodes is going to be spinning like he does every year. Anjanoon, Anjanine, 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 oh gosh, she's going to kill me that I just screwed up her name, um, is going to be the hostess for the mostess. And of course, uh, Derek Barry from RuPaul's Drag Race will be performing as Britney Spears. So I've gone to this event so many times. I love it, but I hate roller coasters. So roller coasters is the main thing in um in there in uh, the, the Six Flags. I just forgot that I had not shared this on my Facebook page. So hold on, folks. I'm going to do that right now. I know this is crazy. I wish it would just go automatically, but, you know, people post so much, so much wonderful things. I can't let them post all the time. <laughs> oh, look, it's not even there yet. 
Um, anyway, so we're going to go on. Guess what? There's free records, free vinyls downtown. Uh, it's going to be at, um, where's it going to be at? The Record Parlor downtown. They have over 30,000 free records. Uh, I guess if you give $20, you can get up to 100 records for free. I, I, I don't know if it's a donation. I don't know if there's a payment for stuff. I have no idea. But um, the doors open at 1030 on Saturday and Sunday. This is going all weekend. It's uh, all free. So it was a little uh, weird when I was reading it online about what was free, what was not. Why is it $20? You get 100 free. But go down. It's going to be a fun time downtown. Um, I also thought this was a really, really cool thing. Maybe because I don't like art. Uh, well, it's R&B. It's just called a silent R&B L.A. And what it is is basically it's at the Federal in North Hollywood. It's going to be on Sunday at, from 2 to 7. And basically what it is is everyone's listening to music with headsets on. That's why it's called the Silent R&B Party LA. What a great idea. So you can select what – I think you can select what kind of music you want to hear. Um, and you have headsets. And uh, they're Urban Feats. Headsets, I guess that's rocking for those kids who know what, what the headsets are. There's going to be three DJs are spinning. Uh, the hottest R&B, reggae, and top 40 hits is going to be there. It sounds like it's going to be a, a silent good time. You know what I mean? What? What? That's so true. Okay, okay. It's going to go on for a while. I should have never hit that one. Um, this is my favorite. For those of you who um, pretty much like the Bloody Marys, the Bloody Mary Festival is happening. Yes, guess what? On Saturday. That's going to be on Saturday so from 12 to 4.30 at the Candela Alebrea. And that's located at 831 Alebrea. Alebrea. <laughs> like I've never lived here for 20 years. Alebrea Avenue. Um so basically, it's the craft and most craft and most delicious Bloody Marys in all of the world are going to be there. Uh, the, your ticket is a two-hour ticket for unlimited taste of ten of LA's most creative and innovative Bloody Marys. So I suggest you take an Uber. Um, uh, we will be serving Bloody Marys from the Attic on Broadway, uh, Middle Bear Bar, Middle Bar, Spare Tire. Cole's Vampire Gourmet Bloody Mary. Oh, that sounds great. So that's going to be fun. So, yes, I, 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 you might see me there. Um, but I'm probably going to be at Kmart in the Valley because Jacqueline Smith of Charlie's Angels, who is right behind me, she's going to be doing a uh, meet and greet at the Kmart in Burbank. Uh, I believe, <laughs> I think it's four to three. No. That's weird. Uh, I don't know. Let me find out. So if you want to go there, I'll be there. Um, she's going to be talking about the new baby line with her daughter. And uh, how fun is that going to be? So we'll get back with you on, on that and when that is. But that's during tomorrow afternoon. Just go to my Facebook page and you'll be able to find the, find the time that it's going to be. I'll be there. It's going to be a lot of fun. And people are going to have a lot of fun because Jacqueline Smith's there. Who doesn't love Jacqueline Smith? Your video is hanging up bad and the audio is lagging. This is what happened when you have spectrum. Hmm. I'm sorry, folks. I'm going to let the buffering catch up to my voice or my mouth. <laughs> but we have a couple more things and we're just going to get out of here. Um, out, Time Out Los Angeles is doing the Battle of the Burger this weekend. If you're a foodie, this is going to be a place to go. It's downtown. It's LA Plaza de Cultura La Ir. Like I can't pronounce that. It's at 501 North Main Street downtown. They are going to have the top 50 burgers in Los Angeles. What? I can't eat 50 burgers. Okay, I can uh, some of the vendors that are going to be there is going to be Beacon Echo Park, Lock and Key, uh, The Courier, uh, Slater's 50-50. Uh, there's, <laughs> thank God, there are two sessions to eat. 
two sessions from two to four, five to seven. So um, check it out. The tickets for that is 30 bucks. And you can find that online where you can buy those. Uh, the, oh, there's a Burger Squad, which includes four tickets for 100 bucks. And door at the door is 35. Also, one of my favorite festivals of Los Angeles is the Abby Kenny Festival. It's happening this weekend, folks. Yes, on Sunday. Abby Kenny from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. It is free. There are going to be 300 vendors there. There's going to be top food trucks, kids, games, music, four music stages. If you've never been to the Abby Kenny Festival, uh, it is the funnest festival in the world. It's so much fun. It's down by the beach. If you get bored with it, which you probably won't, you can just walk down to the beach and see the ocean. I mean, it's always nice to see the ocean. Of course, also for, for my fellow homosexuals and gay people, <laughs> there's going to be a, a special pop-up of the rooster fish, which was um, the, one of the oldest uh, gay bars down at the beach. And it's a pop-up. It's going to be, it's called rooster fish revival. The tickets for this have sold out. Uh, so I'm sure you'll be able to get in. If you just go down and stand in line, but um, it's at Venice. It's going to be at 55 North Venice Boulevard uh, this weekend, um, all weekend long. So I think it's in, in conjunction with uh, the wonderful Abbott Kennedy, Abbott Kennedy Festival. Um, so yes, that's going to be fun. I used to go there all the time. I had a great time. There's going to be some DJs playing and spinning, and but you must be 21 to uh, be there. But the Abbott Kenny Festival is, is amazing uh, on Sunday. And, of course, Chico's Angels and Homecoming Queen's Got a Musical. Uh, it's called Homecoming Queen's Got a Gun, the musical. It's the uh, musical by um, Julie Brown. It's coming back to the stage. Both of them are coming back to the stage in October. I work with both of these wonderful people as a publicist. So um, tickets are on sale. But, you know, I'm only promoting them because they're really good shows, and, and I think you should go because you'll love them. You'll enjoy them if you're Los Angeles. Well, I guess that's it. I hope I, um, I hope my voice and my mouth and my video comes through better than it, it was, I hopefully. I don't know. Um, but hopefully next week I will be back with a wonderful guest to chat with. Um, but let's see. Will I have a guest next week? Let's ask the Magic 8-Ball. We'll have a guest next week. It's the horrible, contemptible, Mr. Spring Run. Should we ask again? Am I going to have a guest next week? Am I going to have a guest next week? I don't know. I don't care. Am I going to have a guest next week? You get all the glory, and you deserve it. That's true. But will I have a guest next week? It's all good. What? I mean... Magic 8-Ball, will I have a guest next week? No, it's silent. Magic 8-Ball, will I have a guest next week? Oh, hey, buddy. I thought I smelled failure. Well, I guess not. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to stop that funny joke because it was like burying me, you know, like six feet under. It was like I was on the, on the ride to uh, Haunted Mansion. I couldn't get off. Oh, my God. Should we do it one more time? Am I going to have a guest next week? Contrary to your beliefs, it's not all about you. I think we should end it there. It is all about me. Anyway, I'm Mike Pingle. Thank you for watching. Um, I, hopefully this kind of informative, uh, yet non-synced non up um, video today of the Mike Pingle show. I should have just went to the 99 cent store and bought something fresh for me. Something nice. I think I'm going to splurge. Nice something pretty. All right, you guys, I hope you have a good day. Thank you for uh, watching whatever moments you did of this video. Um, we will be back next Thursday with a wonderful guest who is You're gonna lose. the Glee 8-Ball is not very supportive. All right, have a good night. See you later. Bye. Have a good weekend. Have fun with all the things that are going on in town. Because I'm Mike Pingo. This is the Mike Pingo Show. And be good to each other. Bye-bye now.